Here's your NBC 26 update. I'm Regina On. A lawsuit alleges negligence by Wisconsin's only oil refinery, Husky Energy, after the refinery exploded back on April 26. The explosion and fire injured 36 people and caused a mandatory evacuation in the city of Superior. Husky Energy has not responded to the lawsuit. Harley-Davidson's future is in its technology. The company wants to be in Silicon Valley to make it happen. We've just learned Harley-Davidson will open a new research and development facility to help develop new technology and focus on a complete line of electric vehicles. Harley plans to release its first electric motorcycle in 2019. Another 30 people have been reported ill in an outbreak of salmonella linked to Kellogg's Honey Smack cereal. Some stores are still selling the recalled product. The CDC says no one should be buying or selling any form of Honey Smack cereal. Overall, there have been 130 cases of people getting sick in 36 states. A former Marquette University president's name is no longer on a university dorm this evening. It's all connected to the priest's sex abuse scandal. There's only an outline of the name Robert A. Wilde Commons left on the brand new building. Father Wilde requested his name be taken down, citing his own mismanagement of clergy sex abuse cases in the 80s and 90s. One person has been killed and at least 20,000 are without power as Tropical Storm Gordon makes a landfall near the Alabama-Mississippi border. A child was killed by a falling tree in Pensacola as Gordon slammed the Alabama and western Florida panhandle with 70-mile-an-hour winds and heavy downpours. That's your NBC26 update. Have a great day, everyone.